Well, Happy New Year, everyone. 2023. <laughs> Wow, already. What did I do last night? Well, yesterday was a hodgepodge of falling asleep and being awake. <laughs> I watched Little Man for a little while when Ashley went to test drive a car. She wants to get a newer car, maybe one that's a little bit bigger or something. She just, and it was raining. It's been raining, 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 but that's okay. It just didn't happen. She didn't get anything. But I watched Little Man. We had a good time. And then last night, I had purchased a bottle of Prosecco from the Friuli Veneto region of Italy. That's the northeast, up toward the top of Italy. I wanted to um, patronize the people that I know that live up in that area, and the smaller businesses. And this was from a company. Well, I can't read, see it from here. A company that uh, is from that area, and I know some growers up there. Don't know if they have any hand in it, but never got opened. Not even today. Thought about opening it and drinking it all myself. I just might. <laughs> Prosecco is nice. It's not champagne. It's fizzy wine, and uh, it's refreshing. And if you eat a lot of heavy stuff, it is refreshing to your stomach. Oh, what did I do today? Brian was barbecuing hamburgers and he burnt some and he was not in a good mood. So I didn't really see him much. But I had two burnt hamburgers, but that's okay. I made potato salad because I heard he was going to do hamburgers and he didn't want any potato salad. Because he has his air fryer and he wanted to do uh, french fries. But I, Ashley said the little man might like to try some potato salad, so I brought some over, and little man ate. He liked the potato salad. That little boy will eat anything, I think. Just about everything but green beans. For some reason, he doesn't like green beans. Probably because of the outer part of a green bean is kind of tough. <sighs> Brian took down all the Christmas stuff. He took down his Christmas tree, all the lights, all the decorations, everything. So I thought, well... I need to do it sometime, so I took all my lights and tree and stuff down, packed them up, and put them away. I kind of like those lights, giving a kind of a neat glow in here at night. And I knew I had them on a timer, so I knew what time it was. If I woke up in the middle of the night, if they were on, I knew it was either really late at night or really early in the morning. But sometime in between, it wasn't. If that makes sense. I had those hamburgers and then for dinner dinner I had some leftovers but I didn't eat much of them because I was really full. had some Spumoni ice cream which I like Spumoni ice cream at the holidays. Was ma I managed to find some. <sighs> have some tea. I'll have some tea this evening. Trying to do paperwork finally. Yeah I know. So I'm set up in the living room with a TV tray and my laptop on there. I'm going to try to do some paperwork, catch up on my mail and stuff like that. I've been feeling less than. Uh, a lot of holiday feels. Plus, I have clinical depression and uh, it just makes it worse when you don't have anybody. The kitty cat sat on my lap and kneaded my leg, you know, like they do, they don't like kneading dough. That made me feel wanted and loved. Because kitty cats don't do that to you unless they love you. So he needs his nails trimmed. <laughs> it kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah. Well, it doesn't take much to get this place a mess. You would, I guess that's why a big house can hide messes better. You have a small dwelling, anything out of place looks like a disaster. As I mentioned, if I did, <laughs> it's been raining. It's supposed to rain all week, which is not terribly normal for down here in Southern California. It just doesn't do that. I told Ashley, I said, it's supposed to rain all week. I actually thought about going out and getting some grass seed. 
Because where the dogs walk around and, and uh, walk all the time, there's paths, dirt, you know, in the yard. And things don't grow very well because the dirt here sucks. But I thought, well, I'd give it a running start if, if you could put down some seeds. She might go out and get some tomorrow. That'll be an interesting thing. I don't know. Brian's off tomorrow, and she's off tomorrow, which would be January 2nd. So they may go look at cars. They may not do anything. Who knows? I don't know. I hope Brian feels better tomorrow. I know what it's like being in a grump mood. Haha, <laughs> that's me. I posted a picture on Facebook with me in my robe all hunker, hunker down in the chair, you know, Mary flipping, Happy New Year, bleh, bah humbug, you know. <sighs> yeah, I'm lonely. They have to live their own life. They're on the other side of the door. I mean, that'd be a, a great name for a book, The Other Side of the Door. No matter what the subject matter would be, it'd be a great title, wouldn't it? Or even a song, The Other Side of the Door. Oh well, I've already said it. Somebody will probably steal that idea. Oh well. Gotta think of a joke for Wednesday. I'm hoping to make a few vlogs and put them in, you know, in, in a waiting line to go out so that I don't feel pressured and that the, the vlogs are not rushed and shitty. You know, because I have seen some of my vlogs from years ago and they were a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Gotta get back to that. Gotta get back to being organized, as I like to say. Organized. And with it. So now that I have everything that I need, basically, except a car that maybe gets better mileage, but I will be doing research on that. Not necessarily going out and looking at them until I have all my research in and have three or four that I really want to think about. And that'll be a while. You know, it takes me ten times longer than it takes a normal human being to do anything, so who knows. It'll probably be summer by then. But that's in my in the works for this year. And streamlining. Consolidating and streamlining what little that I still have. I want it to look decent when you walk in here. I mean, no one comes here. But if someone were to come over here to walk in and say, this is a nice place. Right now they walk in and say, whose storage room is this? <laughs> yeah. Get, get on top of stuff. Make a list of things that I, when I think of them, I should write it down. Because if you don't, they go away. Like right now I'm looking at the cat food container that holds his food. It's an airtight container safe from ants and everything. He's going to need some more dry crunchies. So I got to put that on a list. There's a couple other things that I've thought about that I have to put on a list otherwise I'll forget them. And I don't want to do that and I don't want to make rash quick decisions is oh I gotta get that I forgot about that oh I need it now no I like to be prepared I think that'll be my thing for this year to be prepared I need to be prepared in case there's a big earthquake I've never been in a big earthquake I think I would be scared to death but I should at least know what to do I have to be prepared in case of an emergency, have some kind of emergency fund, or my health care lined up, or my last wishes crap lined up and a, and a certain amount of money taken aside for my kids so they don't have to spend anything on me. Yeah, I've been thinking about death a lot. It Does, doesn't necessarily scare me, because I've been almost dead before. And it was not bad. It wasn't not bad. So I'm not afraid of it. It just, it's, I kind of want to do some stuff and see the grandchildren grow a little more before I croak. <sighs> yeah, and I'd like to have everything in working order. 
the rug cleaner is not working right now. I guess I'll have to take it apart and look at it or something. Um, you know, like everything has a place and should be in its place. That's my father, you know. Find a place for it and it should be there. Next time you need it, it'll be there. Yeah, I agree. You could, you know, if let's say you've fallen down and someone needs to find something for you, you if you have it organized, even loosely organized, you can say, well, it's in the far right drawer on the left side in the back. <laughs> you know, and they'll know exactly where to go. I like that. Anyway, Yakimoto talking again. Blah de blah blah blue blue blue. This is tea. Earl Grey tea, but I toast to you for a good new year. May you be close to loved ones. May you be have an even keel, as they say in the the boating business. You know, not too much of this and not too much of that, but just right in the groove, baby, in the groove, <laughs> upward and onward.